hello guys welcome to my channel my name is shania or y'all can call me the og pretty pink pilot out here because eventually y'all will all be pretty pink pilots with me but yes i go to middle georgia state university for aviation flight i am studying to become a professional pilot and i hope to have my own private jet business in the future as well and i felt like what better way to start my documentation of my aviation journey rather than how i passed my private pilot written exam with a 95 yay but yes so let's get right into it and i guess we could just start with the books that i used um this was the book that um, my whole class was based off of, the Jepson Private Pilot Ground Book. And we went chapter by chapter through the whole thing from January to May 2021. And we got it in December, but I didn't start reading it till like January 1st. But I was still able to, you know, pass with flying colors as I should. <laughs> but yes, um, you know, it's, it's gonna it's gonna seem like a lot navigating through like this whole new brand new unknown language to you. But it was actually pretty cool, you know, learning the different things. And this is the basis of aviation that the rest of your training is going to be based off of. So I feel like it's very detrimental that you know, the ins and the outs like the back of your hand. But yes, um, I feel like the best thing I did was make a plan. Um, I Instead of like thinking of it like, oh, I have these like 11 chapters to go through, I broke it down to chapter by chapter and went pretty much like week, week and a half and followed it through like with the slides he had for the chapters, the book with the chapter, and then um, using my Bible of Aviation, the far aim to, you know, I tapped it out after, but when I was first going through it, I didn't have it tapped out. And I would just connect the um, the parts in the far aim to the questions that I had went through for that chapter. Um, and yeah, so the online aid that we used as well was the Jepson Online Ground School. It comes with the ebook, study sessions, and test sessions. We would have to complete the study sessions with 100 and then do a test session for my teacher. And he always emphasized that, you know, get a 90 to 100 on the test prep because, you know, it's going to be a good determination of what you're actually going to get on the written exam. So I would usually get like 95s to 100s on all of my exams. On the qualifying that we had to take, I got a 95. And then on the actual test, I got a 95 as well. So I was very happy about that. Um, so I would just emphasize studying to get a hundred, keep studying, keep studying, keep studying. And one thing that I did that is like the ultimate help now, as I'm like, you know, doing the flying portion is my binder full of notes. And I went through like every chapter of the Jepson book and I wrote down notes for everything. Like it's ridiculous, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. So yeah. I just wrote out all my notes so that instead of having to go back and go through the book, I just have all my notes right there. And a lot of you don't really need for private, but you know, it's better to have it through all your training than to not have it as it's like, you know, the basics, like I said, and I also did flashcards. So I did them um, for each chapter. And um, so, you know, instead of having to go through the whole chapter again, you know, you just pick out the ones that you want to study on and focus on. Cause you know, it gets really repetitive. If you already know the information, you don't have to keep going over it. So like, say you did a study question and you know, you got like 85 and it tells you the ones you got wrong. So you would take out those flashcards and study those instead of having to do the whole unit. I just like it's better to, you know, know exactly what you have to work on. Another thing that I would emphasize is having a study group. I used to study with these three people in, um, in my school and we would just go and we would quiz each other and practice, you know, the sectional and the charts that we had. And it was really helpful, you know, to have people that are going through the same thing you're going through help and, you know, see where you guys stand. And I feel like that's better than, you know, studying with somebody who already has like the commercial because they're already past this stage. But you guys are all on the same playing field able to see what's going on. The written exam is a 60 question test. So um, that's broken up through each of the chapters. So, you know, studying each section is really important to, you know, because you don't know what's going to happen on the actual test. Um, when they came to the charts, that was kind of like hard for me. So like, I printed out the charts from the Glime 
and I was able to, you know, go back and do actual examples so that, like, you know, anything that showed up on the test, I would be prepared for. Um, I also use specific videos on YouTube for the things that I did had trouble with, like whether that be like weight and balance or like, you know, um, you know, the wind component and um, stuff of that nature. Just so you know, get a better idea and get more extensive information on the one topic. Um, BORs are also like a really hard thing for me. Now that I'm flying, it's a lot better, but before, yeah, no. But yeah, so using those videos can really help you. And I'll definitely recommend that. Um, I use also use my manual it's E6B. I think it's way better than the electric kind. Um, even though, you know, it may take longer. I feel like I just got the best results with my E6B. I have the plotter and I would honestly suggest getting this one rather than the other one. Um, it's the wheel. So you're able to line it up with the sectional and, you know, get the exact, exact um, plotting points or, you know, the direction you're going, your true course. And then, like I said, the charts were really good. And using your sectional and going through it and quizzing, like I said, with your group, the different parts, like what the purple circle is, what's the purple circle with the little, um, this little square thing. It means like to the surface. But yeah, so if you just go through this with your with your friends or people in your class to learn and make sure you have it down packed, I feel like you there's no way you're not going to get 100 on that written exam. So if you have any questions, go ahead and comment them below. Thank you guys for watching. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to my channel to go through the rest of my aviation journey with me. Um, I thank you guys all, and I can't wait for y'all to be pretty pink pilots with me. <laughs> thank you. Have a great day. We're going to cut that out. We're going to try this again. Um, thank you, and I'll see y'all next time.